Hello, everybody, it's Console Kev, and welcome back to another episode of Frenemy Fire, which I got a background now for anyone watching the video, but if you're not, great. Uh, we have some stuff to talk about today, but first I want to thank our patrons, which I have over here. JR Judy, thank you very much for your patronage. Matt Bleckinger, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your patronage. I appreciate it. Christopher Sullivan, thank you for your patronage. And Viva La JD from the SmackDown podcast, thank you so much for your patronage. It helps us out so much. Thank you. Anyway, we have some stuff to talk about tonight, but um, the problem, well, today, I guess it's Friday morning if you're listening to it when it's out. Um, there's still not like a whole lot of news going on, but there are some things like Lucasfilm, uh, they have some projects coming out, including an EA Star Wars game and a Bethesda made Indiana Jones game. Very interesting. We talk about Super Mario's 3D world Bowser's Fury mode. I don't really know what it is. So we figure well, let's talk about it. Um, the AEW game coming out because, you know, me and Aaron, big wrestling marks. Uh, more me than him. Aaron is just a jerk and he hates me. That's not true. And, uh, just for funsies, Hey, we go over Metacritic team of the year and return to castle monkey ball is a game that somebody decided to make. And I kind of want to play it real bad. So stick around and have a great time and we'll see you next week as well. That's the story of Vibro Man. Vibrations. Yeah. Those weren't good vibrations. Good vibrations. That was my uh, attempt at singing. Aaron, what you been playing before I talk more weird stories about? No, ladies and... first. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kev. All right. So that's why I had you go first. Why? You said ladies first. That's why I'm offering it to you. I'm your not name a is, lady. Your name is I'm Aaron. A, oh. My name is Karen. Thank you very much. Wow, that's. I want to speak to the manager of this podcast. I'm pretty sure it's me at this point. <laughs> I do all the editing and uploading now. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> I put my beautiful voice on here. I set this up. Your job and... was to, to set up the YouTube part, and you're like, hey, can you just make a playlist? I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> I will do it. I swear. But... No, you won't. No, I swear I will once I get my life in check. The problem is it's been a long time since my life's been in check. <laughs> I will once I get my life in check. The joke is, guys, I've never gotten my life in check. <laughs> my life was in check up until about two years ago, and it's been all downhill since. All right, well, fine. I guess I'll talk first. So uh, thing number one, I'm just going to switch scenes real quick. Uh, oh, everyone can see it. But guys, I'm doing a wall that you can see. I got some LEDs up there that you can't see because there's no good right there on the ceiling grid. But I got these... No, actually, well, no, that's a springtime project, actually. Um, but I got these flame effect bulbs today at Home Depot, and I like them, and they're going to make a really cool, like, scene backdrop, because uh, it makes it look like, oh, she's already mad. She's like, well, do they make the room any brighter? I'm like, God, no. They're just flame effect bulbs. She goes, why'd you fuck you buy them? Like, for coolness. Like, shut up. <laughs> so um, that was something I did. Uh, but other than that, it's coming along nicely. So that's been my whole week, so I haven't streamed anything. Um I did beat Dragon Quest, finally. He's a liar. No, I didn't. I, people saw me do it. I did, did it on the internet. Yeah. Did they? Really? Fuck Prove you, right Aaron. <laughs> so anyway. This is only six years in the making, bro. <sighs> Eat my dicks. Um, so anyway, I beat Dragon Quest Eleven. That is still my favorite Dragon Quest of all time. I know you do not love it the way I do. Um, but look, I can't deny it. That is an S-tier RPG. I put it in the same category as... Legend Dragoon and Persona 5 from Aaron. Damn, that's that's some that's praise, a bold bro. claim. I know you didn't love it because you were stuck doing some weird side mission thing that I still can't figure out what you were doing. But, dude, that game's good. I love those characters. Uh, I love that. I, like, one of the weird, quirky things about the game, other than everything is a pun, there is a boss that is surrounded by gold whose name is Guild Digga. And I was like, I get it. It's so dumb, but I get it. Like... Because they use guild in the game. I'm like, fucking, I hate this game so much. Every time it makes a really obvious bad pun, I'm like, 
Oh. I love that Puff Puff could be like, it's sex, it's smoking weed, it's apparently following some girl to the edge of a cliff and she pushes you off and you went bungee jumping and you weren't ready for it. Like, Puff Puff is just the funniest thing in the game. Like, you go, you follow one girl into a room and she's like, ooh, you want some Puff Puff? The screen goes black. Like, you'll tell me if it hurts, right? How does that feel? And then you wake up and it's some big muscly dude who goes, my dad actually gave you the Puff Puff. Isn't he good at what he does? Just pay up front. I'm like... Oh, what did I just do? Like, it's just, it's so stupid. Like, the slimes are adorable. I had Stitch make me slime emotes because we hit a new sub goal. Uh, and I made, a, I made a, a blue slime, a red slime, and the metal slime for the one tier three I have. Clepissima. Sup, uh. Uh, I really need nudes emotes, but I'm poor. I, I, I just heard it, you say, I need nudes, and I'm like, I guess, Aaron, I'll send you. Like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Why not that too, bro? Why, listen, why not both? You just have to ask. Uh, what else have I been playing? Okay, so I beat Dragon Quest. But it was, I'll say, with, with emotes, I need, I'm, 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 I'm going to start. Uh, Chris and I are streaming Friday. We're, we're setting everything up tomorrow and testing it. We'll be streaming What Friday. time? Just probably evening, probably 7 or 8. Okay. Because I just want to make sure I can try to at least try to catch it. Yeah, if we're going to start Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, if not, I'll at least, like, get you a lurk or something. Because Friday, I try to spend with Tina, but, like, sometimes she's annoyed with me, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> what else is I doing? Uh, right, what else? What else? Um, I know, Dragon Quest I know, I know this was. I know this was during the live podcast and then after the live podcast, but you ate 75 to 80 beans that day? Yeah, no. Listen, my farts smelled like the spoiled milk bean. I'm not How even Tina feel about that? I, I try to hold them in around her. Normally, it's like, oops, a fart. But now, like, I don't even want to be around. It's like it smells like the spoiled milk, and it's awful. And I had like, Can I had imagine? more. Oh my god! Did you imagine uh, eating 80, 80 jelly beans in a day where half of them are just gross? My like the ratio is so bullshit on these. Like they say fifty fifty, <laughs> but like getting a nice one, I'm like. Oh, that's so nice. Like, like the dead fish one's always dead fish. The spoiled milk one is 80% spoiled milk. The rotten egg one is like, might as well be 100%. Fucking, but the blue one's like 50. The stinky socks one's like always good. Like that one's like, ah, oh, whatever. Let me get the, let me get the stinky socks. <laughs> but like, fuck man. I don't know. It's, it's real good. Um, not good for my stomach, but you know, here we are. Uh, so after Dragon Age or Dragon Quest, I said I was going to play Dragon Age, right, Aaron? But you lied, like always. I did not lie. Uh, I bought Far Cry Classic because it was two ninety nine. I love Far Cry. So I was like, you know what? Far Cry sucks. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> so I, it was two ninety nine. But Then I was like, I'm trying to keep my New Year's resolution. I'm like, I'm not buying a game unless I'm going to play it right now. So I had to make Far Cry Classic next. So I played it yesterday. And uh, that Far Cry Classic, as Chris and I described, is definitely a video game by definition. It is definitely an interactive medium. It is so fucking mediocre. Like, Far Cry, you normally think of this like you're on an island and it's big and expansive. And this game is, like, deceptively open. Like, it gives you a little radar, but, like, it's just missions. You're just boom, boom, boom. Um, you can get – there is no stealth in this game. You can be hiding a mile away and enemies will go, Hey, he's, uh, he's way over there in those bushes. There's no stealth. You can't hide. Like, <laughs> it, like the guns feel all right. Um, I like that early 2000s-ish janky shooter. I was say, what, shooter. what was uh, the system on? I don't know what system it was. So it was, it was a three... Okay, so it originally came out on PC, got ported to 360, which then got ported to Xbox One X, which then got ported to Xbox Series S and X. So follow nice. that train. Uh, okay, emo kid. Uh... So it's fine. Like, look, it's a two ninety nine game. It's fine, but it is so aggressively mediocre that I'm like, I don't really think I want to play this again. And uh, I was in the middle of a gunfight, and the game just decided to replay a cutscene where everyone was t posing for a minute, and then go back to the middle of the gunfight. And I was like, okay, that was weird. And I just got to a point That's where I'm amazing. like, like I this game's. It's, it's a game. It's a C tier game. Like it's not bad, but I'm like I do not need to play this anymore. Cause like I thought it was gonna be an open world game, like Far Cry, and I am a little bit of an open world burnout. So I was like, oh okay, I don't mind that it's linear, but I was like, this is just not what I want from a Far Cry game. Now that I know what they are, you know. Yeah, that's fair. So put it down. Then I'm I like, I wonder what you're gonna think of uh, Dragon Age, only for the fact that like 
I'm not saying you don't like stories, but like s- gameplay trumps story for you. Yes, nine out of ten times. Yeah, and well, like Mass Effect, I was like, completely different gameplay styles. Oh. Holy fuck, they're different. Mass Effect's a shooter. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so like, I think I honestly think gameplay wise, you'll like two way better. I think so too. I, I, from what I've heard, I think I will too. Like, um, Origins isn't bad gameplay. Yeah. But, like, it's definitely old D&D style gameplay. I mean, if you play on, like, because you're not playing on PC, which no, gives you a little more DFS. strategy. Yeah, which, like, I don't know. The story is what makes the game an S-tier game for me. Right. Um, I mean, I don't hate the- story if it's done well. I'm not saying you hate story. You're not Chris. You, you don't hate story. Who hates story? Uh, Chris. Um, <laughs> he just went on bullshit about absolution last night. And he's like, the story was so fucking dumb. I'm like, who's playing Hitman for this story? <laughs> Chris Chris doesn't care about stories at all. Unless it's Hitman Absolution, bad. apparently. But, um, but, like, it's just the gameplay is very old style D&D type okay. gameplay, really. It's fine. It's not as bad as KOTOR, but you can tell that it is sort of derived from KOTOR. I mean, I'll get. I'm willing to give anything a shot. You know, so I'm just. I'm just worried that the gameplay is going to hold you back from a game that's really fucking good. I mean, look, I I make these decisions, but I can recognize if a game is good if I just don't like it. Yeah. You know, like I understand yeah, I know. Yakuza I know. is good. I just don't like it. You know. I just. I just really want you to play it because it's real. Like the story is amazing. Honestly. I'll I'll give it a shot. I mean, my my experience with Bioware has been Mass Effect Two and Kotor, and I like Mass Effect Two, but I didn't like Kotor so much. So, again, you didn't like Kotor because of the gameplay. I'm just right. Throwing it out there. I because <laughs> yeah. the gameplay is does not hold up at all. If I don't like Dragon Age, I can recognize it's a good game. I like from all you, I know about it. You'll I need to play Dragon Age Two. I'm totally willing to like. Not a problem. Um, so anyway, I'm not ready for Dragon Age yet because I'm still in RPG burnout. So, I'm well, not burnout. I'm playing Bravely Default. I just did two Dragon Quests in a row. But, Aaron, did I show off my PS2 HDMI adapter on the live show? I don't think so. All right, whatever. I'm not going to unplug it now. Um, I got an HDMI adapter for a PS2, an original Xbox, and a GameCube. So all those systems look beautiful. I had them... A while ago when I had the Aver Media capture card. That capture card doesn't recognize fucking jack shit. So now that I have an Elgato, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get some new ones. So Aaron, guess what I'm playing next on stream? If you follow my Twitter, you know, but just don't cheat. It's I not. Honestly, have no clue. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Wait, no, no, I did because I voted. Yeah, that's right. You it did. It was Spongebob. It was Hell Spongebob. Yeah, I'm playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, motherfuckers. I remembered. <laughs> and it, I put popped it in the old HD, uh, the HDMI adapter last night. Spongebob has never looked more uncanny valley and creepy. So I am ready to play that. Uh, I don't have the rehydrated edition because I'm not a psychopath. And then, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do that, and then Bravely Default still... I haven't done much. I've I've been working on the baseball week. I haven't done much Bravely Default. I've made some progress, but I don't know. That game, like, it's very slow paced, but I do like it. Um, I don't know, it's going to be like a shut my mind off grindy game for a while. Because, like, I want to get all the best stuff. Like, I've been doing it in Dragon Quest. I want to, like, not leave a store or a town until I have the best stuff from that store. But I'm so, like, Dragon Quest trained that, like, when I think people are dead... You don't just bring them to an inn. Like, you have to go to a church and revive them. But in Final Fantasy, it's like, no, just fucking sleep at an inn, dipshit. Like, they wake up somehow. So there's that. What are you breathing at? I was reading something, sorry. You were, like, getting all up on your mic, breathing like a serious Well, it's because right? I'm looking at the other screen. Sorry. Stop having so many screens! I have, screens. I have three screens. I need them. I have three screens! So, um... Yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing. Aaron, please, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Um, Well, what I'm looking at right now is someone being a bitch because... Uh, oh, what do I do now? No, uh, oh. just Madden, Madden people being a bitch. Um, so basically, in Madden leagues, you get 48 hours to schedule and play your game. So okay. you get two days. Right. Um, 
dude was always busy during the day and only wanted to play at night. Right. I'm generally doing stuff at night. Right, as am I. So I was able to schedule a time, but I fell asleep before it. And uh, so he's, and then I messaged him and say like, hey, let's play today. Mm-hmm. And then he just ignored me all day. And now he wants a force win because he ignored me all day and I missed a scheduled time, which okay, it wasn't really that scheduled. And it's just, he's being a bitch and Madden people are bitches. That's, that's the moral of that story. But, um, so I've, I've, I've played a little bit of Madden. Um, I've been playing a lot more MLB The Show again still because, I don't know, I've been in a baseball mood. I just miss baseball. Right. Well, that's and... why we have to play Slugfest online. Please and or thank you. Really? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, then, um, I can't even think. I'm so... Are you so mad at this one person right now? A mix of that and my mind's just fried right now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, I started two new games this over this past... Oh, that's right. Since I, you said live... you were going to be all hyped today. Yeah, since, since the live uh, cast, I've started two new games. One I play at night when I go to bed and lay in bed, because it is game. on Fuck. the 3DS. Oh, never mind. It is uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. <laughs> okay. Um, and? That game's hella fun. I'm loving it. It's hard as balls, but... Well, all SMT games are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. I like SMT4, though, because it... Well, Nocturne was the first one to do this. That's why I'm excited for the remaster, remake, whatever it is. Um, But, so, like, old SMTs are the old-school dungeon crawlers where it's, like, you move one tile at a time. SM Nocturne stopped that. Okay, good. So it's more like you have a character going around on the map and stuff. Yeah, yeah, a little bit like that. Okay. Um, The only thing I don't like about SMTs is, like, 99.9% 99.9% of it is all doom and gloom. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Like, they're all based after an apocalypse or, like, the beginning of an apocalypse and stuff. Okay. So, like, it makes sense. But for me, I like my video games to have some type of humor, some type of something. Which there's humor in the game, but it's just, like, everything is always downtrodden and, like, bleh. But yeah. the game is still really good. Um, I like the combat system. Like, everything about SMT4 has been really solid so far. Uh, yeah, um, boss fights are really annoying because okay. they're just hard. But the cool thing is, unlike most games, like, stat increase and decreases work on bosses and stuff. And good. you really need to take you need to take advantage of those to really beat tougher bosses. Hmm. Like, if you don't... If you try to play it like old school RPGs where it's like you just attack with stronger attacks and make sure you stay alive, That's exactly you're going to die. That's exactly what die. I do every time. It's what you're supposed to do against bosses in most games. But, yeah. but no, you need, you need to be able to like, you need to do stat increases and decreases. Like you need to like do support skills and shit like that or else you're not going to beat certain bosses. Hmm. Unless you go grind forever. Okay. Um, so I played that and then one of my friends hit me up a couple days ago and was like, yo, have you heard of a game called Eichenfell? Oh yeah. That's where I heard this game was from. Yeah. He's like, have you heard of this? It came out October of this past year. It was a Kickstarter game from 2016. Um, okay. And I was like, no, what is it? He's like, so he, he he basically described the story as Harry Potter, but much more gay. <laughs> I don't know what um, that means. So it, he he meant it in a very like positive, like uh, like like you know how like after the fact, J.K. What's her face was like, oh, this guy's gay. This person's that. This person's that. But yeah. it was just because J.K. is she wants rolling to pa- J.K. Well, she rolling. does it for pandering reasons. That's that's yes. the problem I have with her. Yes. So basically this game most like most of the care like not most, but a lot of the characters you see are pretty much like somewhere gay, bi, question all that stuff. Okay. But so that's that's why he said that. But basically so basically I looked it up, um, the Kickstarter and everything, and the original thing that they taught like that it was based on was Paper Mario and Harry Potter. That's a comedy. Which was interesting. 
which was interesting. I've never played Paper Mario, so I can't talk about Paper Mario. I've never played Paper Mario. Never played one. Um, but I absolutely love the combat in this game. So, like, it's turn strategic turn-based, mm-hmm. where there's, like, tiles and stuff, and you get... You start off with one, but you get up to... Th- there's six people you can have, but you can only have three of your people in a battle. Okay. Um, so there's three in there, and then the enemies. And you can move around, and each person has spells, which is, like, their different skills or attacks that don't cost MP. Some of them have, like, a recharge before you can use them. You can't use them every turn and stuff. But, uh... Okay. You basically move around on this little... It's, like, three by 15, maybe? I think it's three three this way maybe and like 15 this way like tile grid move around that doing skills and stuff and like each skill also has a timing factor right so like so like the first one is like a fireball skill because your character does fire magic and there's like a ring that comes down and as it closes you have to hit it at the perfect time and you can either get oops which does the least amount of damage nice which does like average damage and great which does extra damage and then when your an opponent attacks you, there's a, another thing. Um, each skill has its own different thing for timing. Mm-hmm. So you kind of got to experiment and learn with that. Um, it makes me more involved because a lot of games, like I'll do my turns and then I'll ignore my opponent's turns and then go back to my turn. But like you can't because an oops to a great on defense can literally be from like two damage to 20 damage depending okay. on the skill. Gotcha. So, like, you, you, to really, like, protect... And, like, I'm level 16. There's eight chapters in the game, and I'm on chapter six. And I only have, like, 40-something HP with my top character. So, like, you really need to pay attention to the stuff. Right. Um, So, like, the gameplay for me is wonderful. It's kind of an old-style RPG puzzly type thing when you're not in the combat. Mm-hmm. Um, The puzzles... There's been like one or two puzzles that were kind of tougher, but not really tough. The puzzles have been pretty easy for me, um, okay. but like, I've been there. I don't think they're meant to be like brain crazy challenges or anything. I think they're just meant to kind of like little puzzles, little gameplay stuff. Makes the game a little bit longer without little being puzzles. like, yeah. Little and uh, so the the one thing I wasn't a huge fan of at first was the story it was it was very simple but as you went on it like grew Mm -hmm. and like there's so many side things that came in and stuff and like it i got hooked last night and i wound up playing for like seven hours overnight um that's way too many aaron yes no i agree but like it was really really good and it's also the last week i have until school starts so i was like fuck it but Honestly, this I'm probably going to beat it in the next day or two. Um, right now, for me, it's high A tier. Whoa. Like, it's really, like, I'm loving this game. Like, and what's this is on what again? I, I, uh, I can tell? Everything. Um, I can it's on, tell? it's I-K-E-N-F-E-L-L. Okay, I'm going to look at the screen. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, it's... I don't know. I don't know what else to say besides like I really fucking loving it. The only thing I don't um, like about it is that it's got that like low effort animation thing that every cartoon's doing lately. Yeah, but like most of that's not really like oh, it's all pixel. Like that's a lot of those, yeah. It's mostly pick like it's uh, it's so, an old school inspired RPG. You can tell. Um, I love me some pixel art. Yeah, so like I can also hear myself in your headphones. That's weird. I don't know why. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um. But yeah, yeah. so like I'm, I'm super enjoying it. It's absolutely wonderful. I think anyone should check it out. Right. Like. What's it? How much does it cost? Uh, it is twenty bucks, or I think right now on PSN at least it is four bucks off until the twentieth. Huh. And ho- on how long to beat it takes about seventeen hours to beat, which. Isn't short, but isn't long either. Like, I think that's, like... For me, like, between 10 and 20 hours is, like, the perfect time for, like, a average small RPG to be. 
like bad. certain series should have over that certain a lot of games should have under that but like i think 10 to 20 for an rpg is a solid space to be if yeah. it's a engaging game well all right then yeah i would definitely say when you have time check it out i'm thinking about uh after beating it taking a little break playing something else and then coming back and streaming it because i really i really want more people to see this game and play it I've never heard of it until you brought it up that one day. I only heard of it because someone told me about it. Huh. Granted, it's only been out for a couple months, but still. <laughs> I mean, look, I'll, I'd give it a shot if I can find it on a sale, but I will go put it in my endless document of games that I want, which I hope my Google I Drive is thing. not. I, dude, you want to see how big this list is? You're gonna in a second. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm kind of excited because I saw how big your list of games you own is. I have a problem. <laughs> this is why. But, like, my game want list is, like, any game that sounds slightly exciting. Uh, so, I can on everything you say? I know it's on at least Switch, Sony. I'll put it in the Switch section, then. Uh, it definitely looks like it'd be a great Switch game. Well, let's like, find the Switch section. Here it is. I, I'm playing it on my PS5 because, okay. you know, why not? But. I can fell. Aaron. Well, well, we're. Uh, I mean, you got more games to talk about. You it's twelve see pages. Oh Holy yeah. Holy shit. I mean, some of them repeat. So like, if things are on like PS4 and Xbox One, like I'll just put them. I might put them on one. I might put them on both. Uh, Three sixty. I guess I don't need Banjo Kazooie two anymore because it's on Game Pass. Uh, but like Witcher two, Transformers, Salt, Fall of Cybertron. I need that. I love Transformers. I, I can't stand you. Uh, you can because then like the PS4, uh, the PS4 one has seventy three games in it. Uh, the Holy PS1 shit, section has 43. Dude. PS2 section has 44. You know uh, how Here Comes the Pain? No, I don't, actually. You know what? I was thinking about that. I know what I do want to get in SmackDown 2 for PS1. I want that game again. Fair. Whoa. What that happened? game was fun. Yeah, because the career mode, even though I had, like, no voice acting, I had, like, the most animated, like, things ever. Then I got my PSP. Yeah, I got a, I got a list of games I fucking want, okay? Eichenfell is on... It's actually right here. Switch, PS4, Xbox One, Microsoft. It's on Xbox One. Put it on the Game Pass machine. I spent money on that box. I'm going to buy games for it. Dang it. Maybe one day. I'll try it. So so it's a. Is it, would you say it's like a difficult RPG, though, or is it like uh, it's simple? Like, just having fun. Um, 98% of it's pretty simple. I'm into that. Um, Sometimes you just want to cruise, you know? There, there's a couple. There's a couple of boss battles that, like, so I also think like so there's little encounters on the way and you can either try to avoid them or fight them and for the longest time I was doing every single encounter that popped up in front of me. Mm-hmm. So like even the boss the boss battles took a little bit of time. Okay. Nothing crazy. It's not like a fucking forty five minute Dragon Quest battle or Damn. something. But but like there was a couple battles that took me like ten to twenty minutes. Uh, but. They weren't hard per se. It was just about whittling the enemy down. Not you don't see a health gauge, but like hitting them and making sure you stay good in good health. And then near like in the last chapter or so, I've kind of been skipping some of the encounters. And I just did a boss battle where I literally almost got my ass beat for the first time. So I went back and did a little bit of grinding to catch up back to where I think I should be. So I'll probably be fine again. But hmm. it it's pretty it's pretty easy. Um. As long as you pay attention to the timing, because, I mean, if you're getting all oops, it's going to take you forever to kill things, and you're going to die fast. But if you're getting a lot of nice and greats, then <laughs> you'll kill things faster and yes, not take as much damage. Well, I kind of want it now because you made me want it, so. Dude, I'm, I'm loving it. I want more people to, like, play at least try this game out. Because it's – full price is only 20 bucks, and for – uh. 15 plus hour game that's fun is inclusive has good story has good gameplay 20 bucks is well worth it okay so that's how i feel i will absolutely put on my list of games i will buy unlike my list of netflix shows i'll definitely watch when people tell me to play something or watch something i actually do something like, this. <laughs> like people are like oh you should watch a show i'm like i definitely will one day i will no. not like i just i will not don't tell me to watch a show i will never fucking do it um maybe i'm watching the actually you know what can we have you watched the boys before on amazon prime or no no 
All right, never mind. Then I can't talk about it with you. Because, like, that show is just obsessively violent for no reason. But it's also pretty fucking good. But, like, it is a little, like, violence porny. Like, there's no reason I have to watch somebody's skull be laser visioned off and see inside their skull. But, like, I do. Because that's just what this yeah. fucking is. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Watch The Boys, I guess. I'm behind on it. Homelander's a dick. So there's that. Aaron, should we do the gauntlet? I guess. I guess. Why? Because you just, you don't owe me. I think, you know, I decided you don't owe me a pizza because you did gift me those subs. I, I decided it. So we're just Why? Gonna, because you, you fucking bought, did the gift subs that day. Yeah, I did the gift subs because you were on a hype train. I wanted to get it to the next level. Fine, I'll take a pizza. You, you've, you've convinced me. I'll take that pizza, Aaron. Uh, I don't so, know when, but I will. Uh, I will get you that. pizza. I'm gonna ask you every week until I get it. But I want a Papa John's now. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting you a Papa John's pizza. That's I don't what's think they deliver. That's the problem. That's fine. I'm ordering it, and you have to go pick it up. <laughs> you mean, have to ruin your reputation no, by walking into a Papa John's. Oh Jesus! I have to go to like a trench coat and be like, uh, so uh, can I get one of them soda pops, please? Oh, side note, I meant to tell you this. So somehow the, uh, the conversation of butt rock came up in my friend's group chat, and apparently nobody's fucking heard the term except me and one other, other, other person. That's like a world-famous term. So I need new friends is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, Makes sense. Ooh, I hate your background picture. It sucks. Oh, it's, oh I have to change it. So that's fine. I'll change it anyway because it's going to be SpongeBob now. So I have to change that. Uh, Aaron, the gauntlet. Do you think any of these games have come out or have scores yet? Absolutely not. All right, we're you gonna, can check, but I don't think they well, do. We have to fill it yeah. up, Aaron. Let's fucking do it. So, guys, we'll get the gauntlet thing up for anyone watching us, but anyone not, just follow our incessant yelling, uh, and you'll probably get it. But right now, should I do a new score now? Yeah, it's over. We yeah, know you right. cheated to win. Oh, well, okay. Well, all right, fuck you too then, I guess. like What you could do is before Kev put one, maybe we keep a running count of how many times each person Ooh. won. Whoa, fuck, I don't know what I've done. Oh, my God. What is this tab? Get the fuck out of here. All right, so I have one win. Aaron has zero wins. I'm going to make a little minus right there for all the minus, you know, because all the all the L's you've taken, Aaron. How does it feel? Fuck to, off, bro. How does it feel to be you every day, you know? Um, Better than being Kevin. Yeah, man, I know. I need someone to talk to. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're struggling, get help. Anyway, let's get to the Biomutant. I swear to God, this game doesn't have a fucking score now because I want to play this game. God Did damn I it. I, yeah, it should be. No, it says TBA. Oh, Aaron, you know what you could put in the, the docket while I'm looking this up? Put in the Metacritic game of the year um, things. Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah, that was fun. We, did, we sent that. I mean, we talked about it quickly on on Twitters. Um, did you answer five? Probably doesn't have a score yet. Why did I close? I need Metacritic? to cry. Uh, I could probably just Google it real quick. I mean, I'm on Metacritic right now. It could be the first thing we talk yeah. about. Yeah. Um, did you want survive? Has not have a thing yet. Fuck my life. Dying Light Two. Can games come out? So we can get out. Right. I don't. I doubt it. But Dying Light Two. That's the game I was talking about. Fuck. Why can't I see anything? Dialing Light 2. Aaron, that's that's a game, right? Dying Light 2. Fuck. Dying Light Poop! Oh, my God. None of, can, like, games come out, please? Like, we have a... No, not allowed. I have to, not allowed. I'm trying to get Aaron a pizza here. It'll never happen. I might get you a pizza because I'm going to get... I will get you a Papa John's. Nope. Vampire doesn't No. yet. I've you know there's a Papa John's in my town? I don't. I didn't know that until the other day. Why would you actively look for it? Better question. I didn't. I just happened to see it. Are you looking for <laughs> Papa John's if they deliver around me? Because the only one around me is like West Haven. That's like 20 minutes away. Then I go around for Bladed Fury 2. Come on, motherfucker. Bladed Fury 2. This is the best part of the podcast. I don't want you to talk about Chef here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. Okay, this one's still not out yet. All right. Hitman 3, definitely not out yet, right? 
One day we're going to have all these games come out and it's going to be a giant fucking mess of like things we're going to have to cover. Like it's going to be one giant gauntlet episode. Dude, that it's literally going to that's going to be what I, they're all going to come out within the same like oh two week period and we're going to have to spend the entire t- time It's going to be uh, one whole episode of the Gauntlet 3 Electric yeah. P. Not Electric oh. Boogaloo. Oh. Oh, no, no, thank you. Oh, God, Electric P. You ever uh, peed on the electric fence? No. Because you're, al- you're alive, that's how you know. Because the electricity would go up your dick hole. It would travel up the stream. Have you seen this? Yeah. You, you actively Google this? It's just something you know. You, I just know how electricity works. I don't know if you know this, Aaron, but like... Um, electricity is not even real, bro. Oh, you're right. It runs off uh, magic. Okay, so none of those games come out. So fuck the gauntlet this week. Very good. So we both starting well, up. That, that was, was fun. Yeah, that was super good. I'm glad, <laughs> we, I'm glad we had that experience together, and we did it live. Together forever, no matter how long, 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 long. I like that you are a great singer, by the way. Have I mentioned that? Like, but I'm not. I suck. Okay, well... I do get to start voice lessons again next week. Hi, I fucking won't fucking game. compliment you ever again, then, Aaron, okay? Never! Never compliment me! I don't oh, like it! So, going back <laughs> to the butt rock thing, which I, which I find really funny, is that um, most of the bands that were used in the Urban Dictionary are my friend's, like, favorite bands. I'm like, how have you never heard, known that all your favorite bands are in a thing called butt rock? Probably like, because they're obsessed with them. He, I, I don't know, like, he does he, it's not a bad term, I mean, it was probably intended as a bad term, but, like, it's kind of like a term of endearment at this point, I feel like. Am I wrong? Honestly, at this point, yeah, you're probably right. Like, it wasn't originally, but for people like you, me, Chris, it is now. I mean, I think, we still can do, oh, so are we doing the Evergreen tomorrow, by the way? Yeah, we can. Sick. I just need to get my list of ten. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Anyway. All right, Aaron, we have some news because we got to do something with this. I guess we should, let's just start with the Metacritic Game of the Year. Um, so we, me and Aaron did our game. Aaron, did we ever talk about our Games of the Year? Like our personal oh. one? If it didn't come out in 20, like it didn't have to come out last year. Did we ever talk about what's your Game of the Year? Because oh, mine's Hades. What's my Game of the Year? Mine's Hades. What did I play that was good enough to be Game of the Year? I don't know. That I finished call? because I never finished Royal. I never finished Last of Us 2. I never played Hades. Why is it? How long is it? So, best video game is by Metacritic users. What's the thing that you gave me? This isn't the page, right? No, that, that was the user one. Um, let me see. I'm going to have to find it. User pick. I'm looking it up right now. Fuck user picks. God, people don't know shit. How about this one? Scott Pilgrim. That Maybe. G- Look, sorry, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, that's it. That's this it. Because uh, no, this is new release. That wasn't it. liar. Find me that tweet because I want to go over Metacritic's games of the year, which I have thoughts on some of them. Even though Rick said Age of Calamity should be in there, I love Dynasty Warriors games, but wrong. Like, uh, yeah, no. Like, there's, I, there will never be a Dynasty Warriors game that is good enough to be game of the year. I'm sorry. Unless it's Dynasty Warriors Gundam Four it comes out of nowhere. Um, because no, that still, it still wouldn't be. Come on. No. Why do you hate fun? I hate you. You're okay. Fun. Well, that, I'm, I'm a fun person, and you hate me. So there's that. That's I, be fun. Uh, since. Your mum said I was. Did you say mum? Your mum. Fucking got him. What, what is wrong with you? I don't know. This whole podcast is going up the rails tonight, so who knows? Uh, Alright, I'm opening the link. I'm going to copy and paste it to Discord. Yes. Let's get in there. Oh, I have to go into Discord now? What do you think I am? Some kind of maniac? Who uses Discord to, to chat? All right, the best video games of 2020. Yes, Discord, I would like you to bring me to it. All right. Bring me to it. It's safe to say that 2020 was a transition year for gaming and for the world at large. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I guess uh, this doesn't even have them in, in number order. Yes, best review games by platform. Okay, hold up. So let's, sorry. Right, so it's got. Yes, no, this is numbered order. If you go, it's from top to bottom. There's a 95 to behind 93. Here. It's, it's. 
top to bottom, you dumb fuck. It look at the top. The PC, that Rose PC. Oh, that oh, Colin's okay, PlayStation. Okay. Oh, that's Colin Switch. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, take it easy over here, okay? Take it easy. The potential hey, of your ignorance, hey, bro. Hey, the potential hey, of your bro, ignorance, bro. Listen, you bro, just, bro, you you're just, just like smart your enough father. to have an album Calm collection, down. bro. Bro, you you just you're like not smart father. enough to have an album collection, bro. Where is the potential? You have none. No potential. Me, right, I have right. huge potential. Uh, you went sl- real Italian at the end there. <laughs> real potential. Anyway, so on PC, um, let's talk about the highest games on here. We have Half-Life Alex, which I'm shocked people like. Or is this critic reviews? Critic, right? This is critic, I believe. So I, I can see where critics like it, but like I feel like a lot of people are just like, well, it's not Half-Life 3, so I don't care. Um, Hades, absolutely. fucking lootly. Microsoft Flight Sim. Like, is that a meme or like, do people really like Flight Sim? A lot of people do. Like, Flight Sim has been like one of the biggest games really? on PC since the '90s. Yeah, but like, I didn't know if it was like a me- like a meme level. Thing. No, it's literally been a thing that people love. Really? That's so interesting. Uh, I have no idea what Crusader Kings and let alone that there was a third one is. Um, and then Spelunky too. Which you know what? I want to play Spelunky real bad. Have you ever played one of those? I haven't, but a uh, little bit I saw about Spelunky 2 made me want to get the pack with both of them on Switch. There's a pack with both of them on Switch? I'm pretty sure the Switch has one that has both games. Yo. I, want I could that. be lying out my ass right now, but I'm pretty sure I saw something like that. All right. I want that. Um, so PlayStation, Aaron. For I was like, if you scroll, I was like, if you scroll down, they, they put it by category also. Like, this is just the... Oh, this is? One, these are... Those are just the games that scored 90 or higher. Oh, then here we go. Persona 5 Royale. I okay. yeah, So this is PlayStation. This is the best PlayStation games. I mean, look. Yeah. Persona 5. So, I was like, so the reason it didn't win Game of the Year is, like, in most Game of the Year shows, is because it is just, like, an upgraded version. I get that. But the reason I say it makes sense for Metacritic is it's still a new game, its own game, and it still did get the highest Metacritic score in not just... PS4, but in all of gaming for this year. Um, Which makes sense, because Persona 5 itself was an amazing game, Mm -hmm. and Royal literally did everything better. There was nothing I saw in Royal in, like, the 10 to 15 hours that I played it, where I was like, this makes the game worse. Every single thing made the game better that they added. And there wasn't a lot of changes in that first 10 to 15 hours. Like, a shit ton. 10 to 15 hours. It might have been longer than that. Through, though. Like, not but I'm, when it, when the game's a 70-hour game. 70? 70 for Persona 5? Excuse me? 70 would just be short. No, my first playthrough, I beat it in about 70 to 75 hours. It was like 100. I was like, fuck. Yeah, um, no, it was about 75 hours for my first playthrough. So, we'll, um, we'll so that's the number one. And I guess number two is Last of Us 2. Mm. Anyway. I would technically... I mean, you could do two well, or three because they're tied in score. I mean, look. I can tell you definitively, Dragon Quest Eleven is miles above Last of Us 2 in quality. So. Eh, I, don't, I wouldn't say that. I will stand by that and die on that hill. Because um, in what I played of Last of Us 2, again, I haven't played the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I really think you need to play the whole thing to understand why I have a problem with it. No, I, I get that. But the issue is, when we're talking about quality, quality includes every little thing. And the only thing that anyone ever complains about in Last of Us 2 is the story. I, no, Which, I have I have a problem with, with with Abby being the center point when the whole you've told me for a game and a half, Ellie is, these are your heroes, bro. Kev, that's the story. I guess so. Fine. The gameplay is literally ten times better than The Last of Us. It's similar because I saw so I saw a post. Someone commented, "Literally, Last of Us Two is just a copy and paste of the first game." That's and I'm so like, wrong. first off, if that was true, then it would be getting all this praise because the first game literally won everything all over everywhere. Yeah. Um. So first off, fuck off, you're a liar. Second off, the gameplay is the same but different. Like, it's literally so much smoother. Um, I had a lot of trou- trouble with the first Last of Us because it's not my style of game. 
I played through because the story is amazing. And I loved it. Once I got hooked on the story, I was like, all right, I can deal with these bullshit controls that I don't, I mean, the controls aren't bad, but the, the gameplay style. Last of Us 2 made the gameplay more fun for me. I don't know why. It's not a huge difference, but it was enough that it felt smoother. I felt more in control. It just felt better. Okay. Um, the game, art and sound-wise, looks and sounds ten times better. Everything about this game is better than the first one, except for the story. And whether people like it or not, story is the most subjective part yeah. of a video game. Like there are so many video games that I love the story of that people hated and vice versa. Like if we go down to the nitty gritty of the technical aspects of the parts of the game, the stuff that you really can't argue as much about the game is amazing. Now story is a huge part. And if you didn't like the story or if the story bothered you, like you focused on having stuff, I get why that would bring the game down. But I don't think you can say it's that dragon quest is that much better just because of the story like i can i can see you saying it is a better game you had more fun and you think it is a better game i get that but to say it's leaps and bounds better just because of the story because honestly dragon quest 11 gameplay wise is just like all the other dragon quests and not all of them but like the newer dragon quests don't fix what i broke yeah and last but last of us was the same way and except better like there it was the same thing like i i don't know how to explain it better than just that like i understand why you think it's better and i understand why people like it but i also understand the flip side why it got such a good score because if someone likes the story or if someone connects with that story the rest of the game is still good the people who are saying that the game plays bad or it looks awful are literally just ignorant people that are hating on it to hate on it because the game is literally leaps and bounds better technically, like in the technical aspects, than the first Last of Us. All right, fair. The only thing, the only thing that's different that can make it worse than the first Last of Us in other people, in certain people's opinions, is the story, which one hundred percent understandable. And I, I think that's something that's been bothering me a lot with a lot. Not you, because you, from the beginning, have said store the story. You may not always say the story, but the story is what bothers you the focus and all that, which is all parts of the story. But there's been so much hate online about people saying, oh, the gameplay sucks. Oh, it's just a rip off no, of the that, first that, one, but worse. people just looking for other reasons to, to get yeah, mad. Yeah, th I think the game, if you look at it from Chris's point of view, Mr. I don't care about story, Last of Us 2 is a better game than Last of Us 1. Add the story in, then it goes either way, depending on how you feel about the first and second story. That's my opinion on the whole situation. I haven't played enough to tell you whether I love it or hate it. I was having fun where I was, but I'm a person that once I play something new and I forget about the old one, I, it's hard for me to go back. Yeah, but I but I had fun in the first half, too. That's that's the thing. So I, that's why I want you to continue. Like I, I, oh, I had I know. a great time in the first half. Oh, I like I said, I understand. I understand that why it's worse for you yes i just think most people and a lot of people are like saying like okay we're knocking this off for story but because i don't like the story everything else now sucks and that's annoying me right if that makes sense it did i lost you for a half a second i don't know what happened but here we are now so we're good i don't know when you lost me for half a second you're background like your far cry yeah, background I, came up also i was trying so to see weird. if there was something i did but anyway we're good uh dreams i have not played this and i don't know, I don't even know it is. Play. it's like a game maker software that uh the guys oh. make little big oh i knocked my tv little big planet uh put out and it's okay i guess but i just i don't know you can play dead space in dreams that's all i know uh tony hawk yeah 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 we'll only get down to let's go to five because we'll be here all day uh, that's enough. Holy shit, there's 50 of them. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do 50. It's just the top games. You just do the top ones. I mean, PS5. These are all... Again, I don't have a reason um, to buy a PS5 because Demon Souls is the only exclusive. Which I guess is on PS3, so here we are. I was like, there's no exclusives yet, but like... I haven't played it yet, but I'm really excited to play Miles Morales. Um, I want to play that, but it's on 4, so I'm like, I'm not in a rush, you know? See, for me, because it was like, it's kind of like that in-between where 
it's definitely probably better on five. Oh, probably, yeah. Um, I wanted to play it on five, and granted, I have a five, and I have the PS5 version of the game. I just haven't played it yet. Yeah, okay. Um, what is it? Xbox One. Ha-ha! Cool. It's weird to see Dragon Quest on, like, the top Xbox game release, but I'm sure Game Pass helped. Oh, yeah. Game Pass in general is just wonderful. It's fixing everything. I love Game Pass, even though I haven't been touching it recently. You should. I can fell, but... Yeah. I mean, there's, there's good stuff. There's Far Cry Classic. No, it's not. I keep forgetting I bought that by mistake. <laughs> it's uh, Xbox One exclusive of the year. Call of the Sea? Best game. First person puzzle that. solving adventure. I've never heard of that. If it's on uh, Game Pass, I'll try it. I don't know. All right, so we got two of the games are Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Like a Dragon. I honestly want to try Like a Dragon because it's a turn-based RPG. Is it? Yeah, which everyone was like, why is Yakuza 7 doing this? And they were like, because why not? And that's a good argument. You know what? I can't, I can't argue that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what? Okay, guys. Um, F1 2020. You know, people who like F1 games love F1 games. But like, yeah. God. It's, it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of like that with like a lot of those type games. Like they're very niche markets. The people who like them love them. And the people who don't care about them don't even remember they exist 90% of the time. Yeah, no. Um. Desperados 3, I've heard one person talk about. Tetris Effect Connected, I that's just a remake of Tetris Effect. So, like, it's I mean, but we're five roll. Remember, these are just based on the like, critic scores of the game. Switch, uh, ugh, shitty game. Fuck you. It's honestly, <laughs> it's one of my favorite. I don't know if it beats Rogue Legacy. But I think it does with the way you've talked it up. I do, but, like, uh, see, I really like Metroidvanias, which is really, like, brings up Rogue Legacy in my mind. Like, I love Metrovanias. Hades is definitely not that. Um, let's see, high scoring games. Uh, what is a short hike? I've never what? heard of that. It's a, a high scoring Switch game. We got Hades, Ori, Will, and the Wisps, Animal Crossing, Xenoblade Chronicles, and then a short hike. Super Mega Baseball! I can't believe they made it on there. I, I heard it's actually pretty fun. I don't even know. What the fuck is Super Mega Baseball? It's a very cartoony baseball game. Okay, sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay, that's that. Oh, PC, do we care? Eh, Hades is number two. I actually, it's time I care one. now. I care now. <laughs> Hades is the best. Yeah, uh, okay, PC's there. So, look, game of the year things, I kind of mostly agree with it, won't lie. But there's it's that. not bad, it's not a bad list. I dig it. I think that's Metacritic bad. overall, like. I don't always agree with them because, like, again, Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely not a 97 to me. Breath of the Wild is not a 97 to me. But I think they're generally in the ballpark with most of the stuff. There's there's not too many times where it's like, this game is absolutely amazing and they give it a 50, or this game is a 40 overall trash and it's actually like a 90. Well, so we were talking. It happens sometimes, but it, it's not too often. So we were talking last night on stream, actually. We were talking about how, like, there's just this weird time back in the day when, like, GameSpot and IGN would give, like, games um nines even though they're absolute shit because that was like the peak when like you could tell people were being paid for reviews yeah and metacritic usually seems to be like all right come on like they'll good. they'll give like certain games a little bit of favor but like it, it doesn't seem too very often where it's like this game's trash and they're getting 80s and 90s not really you're not no idea dab i had to yawn all right aaron what do That's we want to talk about next? Aaron picks something. I don't know. You choose. You choose all the news. Let's go AEW. Oh, yeah, because I'm watching Dynamite tonight. Oh, shit. Am I going to be done? I have to edit while I watch Dynamite. Fuck. Uh, when does it start? 8 o'clock. He'll be gone. Oh, he'll be done by then, dude. I know, but I got to edit and do it. Because someone does the editing around here. Uh, yeah, Billiam. Yeah. Yeah, he does. All right. The AEW console game will feature campaign, multiplayer, creator wrestler, and various other unusual modes, which... So, like, all of those... We're all uh, those are not unusual, features. so I don't. Yeah. I say I don't understand. Like, I hope there's like, if like it a does, death match. If it doesn't include a create a wrestler mode, like don't that bother. would automatically make it bad. Like yes. not even talking shit. Like it would just make it bad. Like it's a wrestling game. It needs to create a wrestler mode. It's that simple. Well, <laughs> so I have like I bought two K eighteen and two K nineteen, and the reason I didn't make a wrestler is because like because I know this game's gonna come out every year. I was like, by the time I actually like make Sit a wrestler. 
Because like it's in depth. You have to do every move, every taunt, everything on their finisher. And by the time yeah. you've done that all day, I'm like, I just want to play the game, you know? And then, I don't know. So, like, if they don't do a yearly game, I'll definitely make a wrestler. But if they do, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to be Kenny Omega and Jericho, and I'm going to have a great time. It's pretty much all I want to do in my life anyway. So, there's that. Uh, Can Quindol- I just say that you didn't finish the first sentence, and I just got a little butt hurt Why? in the first sentence? Why? But won't include a GM mode. Oh, right. It won't include a GM mode because they're doing the mobile game that's a GM mode. Remember they said that? I know, and I'm going to get that, but, like, just because you're doing one mode for a different thing, like, that just, so, I get Kenny is saying, like, oh, I want it to be quality, this and that, but, like, if you're not including a mode just to sell a mobile game, not that's great. annoying. Yeah, I, I get it. That's annoying. already, that's already a WWE level decision. Maybe they will work in conjunction. I'm hoping because GM mode is literally like I go back the re- the wrestling game I play the most is SmackDown vs Raw I think it was 2008 featuring ECW yep. and that's because that has my favorite GM mode and like GM mode like don't get me wrong the WWE Universe mode is cool but I don't have the time to be going and doing all of that shit with literally no reward whereas a GM mode like Vince McMahon would give you GM of the year if you did well and there's star ratings and stuff and like Right. I I want that feedback. I don't like don't get me wrong, for like I have I had fun with some of the universe modes. I, I have friends who are absolutely obsessed with the universe modes because they're just into creating that stuff and it's great. But I want some type of feedback in my GM type mode. Right. So I I mean the way Kenny and everyone has been talking about it that they're gonna go with a lot of like an older style plan. They're gonna go with more arcadey wrestling as opposed to like more simulation. I'm just really yeah. fucking excited about this. I mean, he sure says my plan is not to compete with the WWE in that style of games. He he wants to no. do cool stuff. And honestly, you know what? I just want I want like a like if AEW just comes out and goes, "Yo, AEW All Stars, I am in." Like, give yeah. me like Jericho back hit or back elbowing somebody and their jaw flies off. Like, I'm in. I'm sure they would do it too because I feel like they're just more relaxed about everything. Like, but. I'm – so, my thing is, like like I said, I'm down for it. I'm excited for the game because it's going to be different and we need different. But that first sentence of this article really kind of just irks me the wrong way, especially knowing they're making a GM mode mobile game. It really feels to me like they're like, yeah, we're not including a GM mode because, you know, we have this mobile game you should check out. I mean, I get that. Instead like, of – I'd rather than – Instead of being like – You do it. I was like, instead of being like, yo, this GM mode here is more in depth or like they work together or like, hey, we have a you enjoying your GM mode on this console. Yo, come check out this one on our mobile phone. Play both of them. Have fun. Like I would do that. I know plenty of people who would. I don't I, I don't like when companies try to sell a mobile game by not including something in a main game because this is not the first time something like that's happened. So would you rather have a two separate like products that have their full quality put into them, or would you rather like? I'm not saying it would happen. Like they could obviously be in the full game, but like if they're two products that are both done really well, as opposed to like, and eh, this is just the feature in the console game. Like I'm, I don't if know. okay, I will take I will take it back. If the mobile game is a full good game where I don't have to do any microtransactions to have fun, and I don't have to do any of that BS, okay. which. It's a mobile game, so I doubt it. I play a bunch of them. Even the ones I love have microtransactions if you really want to take them serious. Um, so, like, I know I'd rather it in the I'd rather it in the console. I'd rather an all encompassing game, especially if they're adding more unusual modes. I hope there's a the house of hardcore match or something. Something cool. Like I would rather I would rather get rid of those unusual modes and give me a full in depth GM mode. I get where you're coming from. I'm not saying you're wrong. Let's just see what happens, man. I just want I'll to... say it's it's just an opinion. I'm I'm just might be the only person have... in the world who likes it. Let's have the Aaron and Kevin tag team. We're gonna come out like the birds of freedom from it's always two scoops of whoop whoop. What the f- that you he said he said that and you're just like two scoops of whoop whoop like you're just so fucking ready to go anywhere else. <laughs> All right, let's bang these out because I know you got places to go. Um, 
Let's, uh, I guess I can wait on that one. Let's talk about the... No. I was like, anyone that you don't want to talk about or you want to save, because some of this stuff is stuff that we could probably talk All about. All right, well, the, uh, Lucasfilms has announced Yeah, this is games. kind of a big one. Uh, they got more projects coming in 2020, including an EA Star Wars game, which is interesting. Can we just, can we just talk about how they shut down LucasArts games to make Lucasfilm games? Yes, you can. What? Not only that, well, they're making it, so they're making a Star Wars game and they're making... Uh, a new Indiana Jones game, which is going to come from Bethesda. I'm intrigued by that, honestly. Just just that alone. Like, I'm not going to say it's good, but I'm intrigued. Come here, dog. I'm, int- I'm intrigued by that, but I'm also wondering, is that going to be an Xbox exclusive, Aaron? It could be. That could be oh. one of those games that, like, with the Bethesda, like, that would like, come out. like I said, Fallout... Uh, th- those t- those type games, Elder Scrolls, those aren't going to be exclusives. Not not at first, right? But but so, a game like an Indiana Jones by Bethesda that could be an exclusive. That could be a top selling exclusive for Xbox, right? So I mean, this is so you're gonna have a Star Wars EA game, a Lucasfilm EA game, and then uh, it's coming another news story, but like a Ubisoft Star Wars game now. Which is the biggest deal of all these announcements. I guess I'll just jump right to it because honestly, this kind of just yeah, says I'm the same a, thing. I'm, I'm about that. Because um, EA's held that license forever. And I remember when Battlefront 2 came eight out. Eight years? Yeah, something eight like years that. years now? When Battlefront 2 came out. I think I saw out, it was a 10-year contract and there's about two years left. Right. So, But they changed it around. <laughs> because Battlefront 2. They were like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing to Star Wars? And like they got reamed by Disney. Um so they ended up ch- like fixing that up, but now Ubisoft is going to make a game with Star Wars and Lucasfilm. And uh, okay, so it's the first to be developed outside of EA since 2012. That's a long That's fucking crazy. time. Holy shit! Uh, it's going to be an open world title uh, being developed with massive snowdrop. Okay, all right, now I have issues. I Why? love because I love oh, I like Far Cry, but every Ubisoft game specifically. That's an open world game has the same things in it. It's always like here's some camps you got to clear out to get a checkpoint. Like it's it's the same. They do the same formula with open world. I know open world games kind of have a thing, but like you play Far Cry versus Assassin's Creed versus The Division versus whatever or Watch Dogs. They're the same formula from Ubisoft. They're not bad. I like clearing out camps and like. I mean, check- I'm down for. Assassin's Creed Star Wars edition. God damn! If they you do got Assassin's me sold. Creed Star Wars, I've wanted that. So okay, you've turned it around because I totally forgot that possibility. Give me Assassin's <laughs> Creed Sith edition. Like I'm like you literally like your argument against it just sold me on it more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know I turned this around. Give me Assassin's Creed Star Wars edition, and I am fucking in. I or like am. it could be like a, I've never played the Division, but it could be like that with like bounty hunters and shit. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of tired of being a Jedi. I know Jedi's are like a big thing, but like, can we do something different? Do we always have to go to lightsabers yeah. every time? Let me be fucking. Like, uh, what's that dude? Bounty hunter would be sick. No, what's the one from the game that uh, from N64? He had a cool name. From Shadows, of, Shadows of the Empire. He was uh, Lando. Kyle Kat- oh, I don't know. I, I was way. thinking. I was thinking the Jedi Academy games. Kyle Katarn. Oh, no, whatever. Let me be a bounty hunter and go pew pew. Where's a Han Solo game actually? That actually, I'd be down for that. Like, I want a Han Solo game with Harrison Ford not giving a shit the whole time. The crazy thing about me is, or for me is, like, we never got, like, a Han Solo game. We never got, like, a Boba Fett game. But we got a Django Fett game. We got a Boba Fett game. Wasn't Bounty Hunter um, him? That's a Django Fett game. I mean, I don't honestly know the difference between the two. Isn't Django the son? Django's the father. Honestly, I have no fucking clue. Because Boba Fett's in, like, three seconds of the movie and everyone loves him. Well, I mean, it's because of the fucking non now non canon extended universe shit, and then also, um, so in episode two, the Attack of the Clones, one of the newer ones, Boba Fett's a kid in there. Right. Boba Fett, you find out, is actually a clone, and oh, uh, yes, Django's the one. So like all the like clone troopers in the prequel trilogy and stuff, those are all cloned from Django Fett. Okay, so other question now. We're going to Star Wars lore. When did clone troopers become stormtroopers? Um, so ep- uh, episode three. Okay. Um, I think it's execute when Palpatine was like execute order. I think it's sixty six or something 66, like that. Yeah. When they kill all the Jedi, that's basically when it started turning. And then 
uh, it started continuing that way, and then over time, like, there were still probably clones in the Stormtroopers, but, like, in that gap between three and four is when it turned. But they also started taking more actual people into the ranks and stuff, too. Okay. So it kind of became a mix. So I, I never knew what died. the difference between a clone and a Stormtrooper was. I feel like it was just like, here's the prequel term, here's the post-prequel term. Ba- basically, it was just the Allegiance at, is pretty much what it was. Got it. Like, they started off as clone troopers, and then they became stormtroopers somewhere in that gap. I'm Got sure it. the clone trooper series, the animated series, I haven't seen that I've heard is amazing, probably covers it at some point, because they cover the gap between three and four a bit near the end of the series. Gotcha. Also, another cool thing is, um, I don't know how much you know about The Mandalorian. Yeah, the TV show. Zero. I have a little baby Yoda yeah. over there. It's a... Well, uh, in it, um, uh, the newest season, Boba Fett shows up. Okay. And Boba Fett is played by the guy who played Jango Fett in episode two. All right, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I was I was actually really excited about that because I really liked him. So, uh, so is, is I'm a huge Star Wars mark. I was I've loved Star Wars since I was very young. I went super big and like eighty percent of the books I've read in my life are Star Wars books. I've read a lot of extended like the extended lore, extended universe lore. I've played most of the games besides the newer ones. So is Mando related to the Fets at all? No, I, okay. I doubt it. I haven't yeah. watched the new Mandalorian, but I doubt it because, okay. I mean, Django Fett, like, the Fets technically aren't Mandalorians. Okay. Because um, one, Boba Fett's, a, Boba Fett's a clone, and two, basically, Django Fett was a bounty hunter that, I don't know all the story, but he basically stole Mandalorian armor. <laughs> he just had the armor, okay. and then Boba Fett kept that tradition alive. They weren't actually Mandalorians. Right. I'm sure some Star Wars markers are going to give me shit, like, well, actually... Actually, the screen revealed that the Mandalorian is actually Jingle Fett's brother's nephew and <laughs> cousin. Holy shit, doggo. Scared me. Uh, scared oh, me. I thought you Go ran get over, him, dog. I thought you ran over her tail. No, she uh, just heard the other dog's bark. I think Anita just got home from work. Gotcha. All right, so we got to crank this. So just as a side note, uh, Todd Howard saying Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield aren't going to be affected by the Indiana Jones game. I disagree because that's just... I mean, anytime you add... I'll say anytime you add more work to a company, even if it's a different team, it all comes together and there's going to be some type of effect. Yeah. So I guess Starfield... Sorry, still people, coming. for the dog barking. It's fine. Uh, I guess Starfield's still coming. I still don't know what Starfield is. Not going to lie to you. Um, but that's a thing that's going to be happening. Uh, so I guess we can go over uh, two things. We can either go over uh, RGB face masks because this is the fucking world we live in now, Aaron. So basically, we're all working our way towards uh, Mad Max. Got it. Okay, so we're moving on. Uh, all right, so I wanted to go over this because I... So Super Mario 3D World Plus Master's Fury is coming out, right? Uh, number okay. one, it's got a photo mode. I don't fucking care. Oh, uh, yay, photo mode. That's up- my favorite. I use it in all of my games. Assassin's Creed, love it. Well, oh, my well, goodness. Well, 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 well. Nintendo, loving fan content so much. They'll just, get, it's a copyright button. Wow, you took a photo in our game? Hey, you got to take that fucking down, like, real quick. Um, Pretty much. So I don't know what Bowser's Fury was in. I didn't know if it was going to be, like, an expansion, if it was going to be, like, a whole different game to the Mario 3D world. Um, and this kind of goes over a little bit. So we have, I don't give a shit about snapshot mode. Uh, so Bowser Fury is a full spinoff adventure that takes place in a kingdom of cats, like Lake Lapcat, featuring cat-themed enemies, architecture more. I hate it already, Aaron. It's a furry mode. Nice. I don't want this. You're tasked with collecting cat shines. Oh, speaking of cats, sorry. I can fell the save points are cats. <laughs> sorry, that. See, that's pretty cool. I was like, that's so basically you get that you can restore health by petting a cat, and it's cool. also the save point. And I'm sorry, that just reminded me of that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> See, that sold me even more. Thing. Like um, on the PlayStation, like on their store, you know how like it describes the game and like it yeah. gives off features. It's yeah. named a bunch of features, and the last one was just cats, period, everywhere, period. <laughs> and I was like, sold. You got me. I mean, that, that'll do it. <laughs> I have uh, my phone decided every email is going to come in right now and right now only. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here. So, Fury Bowser's appearance, he spikes foam. I don't care about that. This whole thing is, is just cat themed. I mean, I love me some cats. I do like, too, but do this I looks really? looks weird. Like, there's a Super Saiyan cat. 
is Mario running? I mean, I, Bowser looks pretty badass right there, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, he does look badass, but like, this is my issue. Like, I I want this, but I already have the original 3D World, and I don't know if I want to spend time on this. You know, That's I fair. mean, I've never played it, so I might get it and play it. So I don't. You know. should because you should play Mario 3D World. It's the most underrated Mario game. But well, we both know I don't play Mario's very often because I'm a platforming yeah, pleb. Platformers. You don't. All right, so I guess we'll since we're. We're going to finish this up because Aaron's here. Aaron, I'm going to show you the best game that you didn't know you needed to play. Uh, do you like Super Monkey Ball, Aaron? Never played it. Okay. Do you like Wolfenstein, Aaron? Never played it. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> like, do you, you hate fun. So Wolfenstein, Aaron, is the game about <laughs> BJ Blazkowicz, the man with... No, I, I know I know, I, I know, what it is. I've, I've just never actually sat down and played one. I've seen some playing on so it. What it if, looks, some of them look fun, but... I've so never what if somebody it. crossed Monkey Ball over with Wolfenstein? Collecting bana- bananas and killing knots. Let's just watch this together, Aaron. This is going to be great. I know people who are like, Ugh, I can't... S- I'm not listening. Oh, fuck. I ruined it. No, I didn't. Aaron, this is the best crossover ever. Why shoot Nazis when you can roll around in a ball and collect what? bananas to kill Nazis like, and then get is to this, the... Is this, like, real? You can go play it online. Is this, like, an official game? No, it's not official at all. Somebody made this. Okay, I was like, that's fucking... This is the dumbest thing ever. Return to Castle Monkey Ball. Everyone should go... I actually play. love it. It's not. I try it. That's what it's on. It's free, I think. So please, please go play Return to Castle Monkey Ball. And that is uh, that's that's how we're ending the podcast. We're ending it on that. Well, we're, in, we're listen. We're ending the podcast on the fact that there's still no real news coming out, and we're still in a weird thing where the gauntlet's not out. So me and Aaron are phoning in it. No, we're not. We're doing our best. <laughs> and nobody answers us for Q and A's anymore. Yeah, well, Everyone just hates I feel us. Like, I feel like we have to do Q and A's on the live show. That's the move, you know. That that is, dude. I feel like we're just gonna move and become a live podcast from now on. Do you want to do that? Every, well, no. If we do a live show, we gotta plan it and be like, okay, we're doing it this day. You can't be like, I gotta poop at six o'clock, so I can't do it. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I've I've never been late for a live show. Well, yeah, because we know like it's fucking live. We gotta go. Like, yeah. So. Like this one the, today wasn't my fault. I was. My mom no. talked to me, and then I still have the, I literally have the God. other <laughs> keyboard plugged in still, because the keyboard's fucking, I'm so mad that my computer just decides, you know what? You, she, you're using a lot of resources, so after you turn me off, or like you let me sleep for five minutes, I'm just gonna turn off your USB <laughs> port, so you can't turn me back on unless you plug in a keyboard in the other port. We yuck, were- yuck. We were talking about the live show, and then my follow alert just went off because somebody decided to follow me right now. They're listening. They well, know, you what know what we're talking about. Wait, wait. You know what? I'll give you this one, guys. I I do say beans on new follower. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I guess he followed, and we're recording. I was doing, I was, so I was in and be the great one stream. Um, Bo's a great guy. Bo's in the house. Um, and we were talking, and he was talking about doing the bean thing. And he was like, someone's like, oh, I'm going to go follow you right now. I'm like, I don't do IOUs. If I'm not streaming or recording you, follow me. That's on you. But since we're doing <laughs> a podcast. Uh, uh, Kev Payne and the cast. Kev Payne and the cast. Fuck you, well, Isn't it three beans? No, isn't it's three a follower. Beans follower. It's one. Oh, subs are three. That's yes. Was, right? God, you got to earn those. All right. We got a tutti fruity one, so hopefully it's good. Tutti fruity or what's the uh, bad? Shaky socks. Um, oh, that's good either way. Oh, it's tutti fruity. That's a good one. Uh, all right, um, ending this ending this podcast on a sour note. It still smells weird though. Aaron, get <laughs> us out of here. Yo, guys, follow me at like Aaron Norman on Twitter, Aaron Norman ninety three oh. on Twitch, and Aaron Norman on Instagram. And yo, Console Kev has the same name on everything. So like, follow him on everything you except Instagram because he's Twitch. not cool. Did you I say did. That? Oh, okay. Well, sorry, I did. Aaron Norman on Twitch or not Twitch on Twitter and Instagram and on Twitch, Aaron Norman ninety three. Nerds. Aaron doesn't shoot oh. anymore, so don't, don't waste your time with that. Also, also, uh, if this is out before Friday slash on Friday, Friday on night, Friday. eight p seven between seven and eight p.m. Chris and I are starting Final Fantasy Friday. We're starting with Final Fantasy One. He will be playing. I'll be talking shit to him the whole time. Twitch.tv slash fa fa fu hi f a f a f o o h i. 
you did you did you did a good job there, Aaron. Peace. Also but, follow Frenemy Fire on Twitter. I always forget that. Oh, yeah, one. we gotta do we gotta be more active. One of us gotta switch our main Twitter accounts just to be in Frenemy Fire. I mean Billiam. <laughs> yeah. Billiam, do your job. Switch you it over. Far- hey. I know you have Billiam locked up behind that wall since you put that wall up. Can you go tell him to start fucking tweeting more? Uh, first of more? all, you can't prove that Billiam's here. Let me just show over. You can't prove he's behind that door. <laughs> so, okay. There we are. He's in my furnace. We'll see you guys next week or at a live show that we decide to do randomly. And we're going to be recording uh, our every tomorrow. So, which would be yesterday when you hear this. Don't worry about it. Bye. Bye.